Hello, my name's Sherry. I'm a librarian with the Sweetwater County Library System. I am also an artist here in Sweetwater County, and I'm here today to show you how to create this monochromatic watercolor landscape. We're going to do it on a postcard that you will be able to put a stamp on and send through the mail. Let's get started. To complete this design, you're going to need a paintbrush or two, some watercolor paint, some masking tape, a blank watercolor postcard, I have a piece of scratch paper, I have a little bit of clean water, and I also have a piece of cardboard here to tape my painting to. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tape our postcard down onto the piece of cardboard. So we want the blank side facing up and then we're going to use our masking tape. We're going to tape it down on all four edges. By taping the mat the paper down with the masking tape, we're going to give it a nice border around the edges and it's also going to help your paper to dry flat. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of water on our water paint to activate it, get it going. A couple of drops of water. Then we're going to take just some plain clean water and we're just going to get our paper wet. We're going to get it wet almost all the way to the bottom. Almost all the way. Then we're going to go ahead and get a little bit of paint on our paintbrush. And we're going to go ahead and paint this just lightly. Watercolor has a transparent quality, so to make it lighter, you're just going to add more water, and to make it darker, you're going to add more paint. You can see just a little bit of paint. I'm going to bring it down this far. And now we're going to let it dry completely. Okay, so now that this is dry, we are going to load our paintbrush with some paint. I'm working very quickly because watercolor dries quickly. We're gonna just paint only this mountain here. mountain going on. We're just going to use some water to lighten it up towards the bottom. Now we have our first mountain and we're going to go ahead and let that dry completely. All right, our mountain is dry. Now we're going to move on to the next step. So we're going to load our paintbrush full of paint. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw this right here. So all we're doing is drawing on a diagonal line from the left hand side of the page all the way across to the right hand side of the page. So working quickly, we are going to paint diagonal line. We're going to fill it in and bring it down with some water. Let it get lighter as it goes down. Let's make it a little bit darker right along the top. Lighter as it goes down. All right, once again, we're gonna let this dry completely. 
Okay. Okay, so now that this is dry, we're gonna move on to the next step. In the next step, we're gonna be drawing this last line right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load our paintbrush full of paint. We're gonna go all the way from the left side to the right side. And we're gonna let this line be a little bit jagged, a little bit bumpy. And for this one, we are going to get lots of paint on our paintbrush and we're gonna let it be quite a bit darker. So now we're gonna let this dry completely. Okay, so now that this is completely dry, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the trees. So if you have a smaller paintbrush, you could use a smaller paintbrush or you could use the same paintbrush. Um, that you could use a piece of scratch paper to practice on and to do our trees. We're just going to draw thin vertical lines that go up. And then we're going to give it some horizontal lines starting small and getting a little bit bigger as we go down. Get a couple of practice trees in. These ones are gonna be straight up. And then just give it some horizontal lines coming across. You put your trees wherever you want them to be. So there is our finished postcard. We're gonna let this dry all the way. All right, now that this is dry, we're going to carefully remove the masking tape. We don't want it to tear our paper. Okay. Now our postcard's all finished. We can put a message, put an address on it, and then we're gonna put it in this clear cellophane bag. Okay, I have my card addressed, ready to go to my friends. I'm gonna slide it into the protective sleeve. We want the closure to go on the side where your painting is. Seal it up. It's all sealed up, just needs a postcard stamp. And it is ready to go in the mail. This monochromatic watercolor could easily be done in any size and any color. It's the same steps, different size, different color. Thanks for joining us and have fun.
For our next postcard, we're going to be doing this monochromatic watercolor foliage picture. We basically are going to have all the same supplies. I have a different color of paint this time. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a couple drops of water on my paint so I, it can activate while I am taping my postcard down. So remember that you're going to tape it blank side up and tape all four sides of your paper with the masking tape. All right, now that we have our postcard secured with some masking tape, we're gonna use our paintbrush and some clean water and we're gonna paint the entire surface of our postcard. We wanna use plenty of water. We want the whole thing to be wet and shiny, but we don't want the water to be pooling up everywhere. After the entire surface is wet, we're going to load our paintbrush with some paint and we're going to start applying the paint around the edges. We're going to be real loose about the way we apply the paint and we're going to let the water kind of carry the paint off where it wants to go. Now that we have the edges done, we're going to start bringing it in. Just pull your paint out, mix some water and some paint. Keep adding paint until it gets to a place where you like it and you like the way the colors are landing in the water. You can't do this wrong. However you like it is perfect. Let me give it a little bit of darker spots over here. Once you get it to a place that you like it, you can go ahead and let it dry completely. After you let your painting dry completely, it's important that it dries completely so that your next lines are very crisp. If you can't tell if it's dry, you could feel it with your hand. If it feels cold, it's probably still wet. Mine is dry, so what we're going to do next is we're going to use our paintbrush, get some paint on there. We're going to create the foliage itself now. So I'm going to practice on my practice paper. I just used the same one I used for the last side, turned it over. For our foliage, it's going to be a vertical line that goes up. And then we are going to make leads on both sides. And you can make these leads however you want. Do some experimenting, see what kind of marks your paintbrush makes. And once you feel confident, then you can move on to painting it onto your actual painting. You can start with your paint being as dark or as light as you would like it for the first one. We're going to start by making the first piece lean over to the right a little bit. So we're going to start at the bottom. Bring it up, let it curve over to the right and get thinner as we go up. Now we're going to go ahead and start adding our leaves. I'm going to do the same thing with another branch. We're going to make this one either be darker or lighter than the previous branch. And this branch is going to start at the bottom and it's going to veer off to the left this side time. Add leaves all the way up. For the third and final branch, we're going to try to use even a different shade. It could be darker or lighter than the two previous ones. This one is going to come straight up the middle. And you can have it go straight up, you can have it go to one side or the other, that's up to you. I'm going to bring mine up and tilt it just a little bit to the right. Then we're going to start adding leaves. 
You can stop here or you can continue to add some branches. This is your work of art, so you choose what you would like to do. I'm just going to add one more right here. Now that we're done with our leaves, we're gonna go ahead and let this dry completely. All right, now that this just dry completely, we're gonna carefully remove the masking tape. Now our postcard's ready for a note, an address. We're going to stick it in this protective bag. Our postcard has been addressed, put in a plastic bag, given a stamp, and it is ready to mail. This monochromatic watercolor foliage painting could be done in any color in any size. Just follow the same steps with the color and the paper of your choice. Thank you for joining us and have fun.